Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 500 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Finally, we are in a season of Stripe, fighting in Zone 2. Finally, after one month of Home Realm, we are fighting and I'm testing my marksmen, my archers without long-range warfare and it should be interesting. Uh, how much merits we are going to get out of these fights, right? Uh, archers without long-range warfare should be interesting because, um, well, I guess our main targets are going to be mainly as infantry and uh, cavalry because it's an infantry meta and whenever you are fighting you will see a lot of infantry around your range because if you will gonna move one or two steps away uh, through the battlefield, I'm pretty sure you uh, that mages are going to destroy you, right? So that's the main idea behind long-range warfare, like playing without long-range warfare, which should be interesting, and let's see um, how much merits we are going to get without the same range as mages, right? Uh, so far, unfortunately, we are only fighting against infantry because that's our front line. If I will start moving forward, um, I will get targeted by mages and it will be pretty painful for me to do anything uh, regarding fighting, right? As you can see, some mages from enemies are moving forward and which means they are going to die really, really soon. That's the fate of mage players, in like archer players in general, uh, without long-range warfare. That's how uh, things happen without same range as uh, mages, right? You can see how much infantry enemy has and how hard it will be for us to uh, deal damage to them. But yeah, it is what it is. Uh, we have to uh, like analyze the fights and we have to think about which of the heroes will be important in the fights of Season of Stripe. Uh, so far what I can see that the enemy is having a lot of infantry, uh, we are having a lot of backline damage which are mages and of course it will be quite interesting for everybody who try to be archer mains how they are going to perform with their archers in this season. Uh, yeah, their <clears throat> infantry players are moving forward, uh, which kind of sucks because we are not killing their infantry pretty soon. And the whole idea behind infantry that if you are not going to destroy enemy infantry and your infantry is struggling, well, I'm sorry, you will be struggling during the war. I will move my other, well, it, it, so far I think it's fine, but my other bench... Uh, hero pairs which are fighting hero pairs which are waiting for their turns to fight are waiting and yeah i think if we are going to only hit infantry we are not going to get a lot of merits as an archer players uh, that's my honest opinion regarding archers in this season and i think it should be interesting um how much merits in general i can get by being a marksman main of course i still have two mage legions and unfortunately I made one wrong move and uh, like nine mage players started attacking my legion and that's how it got really really low. That's what I said, being a marksman uh, without long range warfare is always really really hard. Uh, right now we will try to use uh, Zaida with Indis. I'm trying this hero pair first time doing the PvP and I hope it will be successful as always. I will try my best to get at least 10k. Uh, merits out of every single fight and yeah i'm pretty interested how my zaida and indies are going to perform simply because i was not able to get my <clears throat> magrot from two seasons already and it's pretty sucks because magrot and zaida i think is the best um fighting hero pair for um, archers in general unfortunately i was, was not able to get uh, the magrot and that's why I put Zaida as a primary, I put Indis, so I, I will I, I tried my best to make this hero pair tanky and healing with Zaida works pretty well and that's why that's the thought behind uh, Indis uh, pairing with Zaida, right? Normal attacks, uh, heals, which uh, is pretty good with Zaida, also having normal attacks, having crits, uh, some damage with Indis first skill, which we got, and yeah, I think there is like pretty cool mechanics around uh, Zaida's gameplay so far and let's see 
how this hero pair is going to perform. It's like more tanky style of a normal attacker, uh, archer, and uh, it really it has a good opportunity to deal some quite good amount of damage. But of course, I should be cautious because a lot more mage players will be around the battlefield, and uh, it will be painful for me to go out of the range while a lot of mage players are going to target my legion. I think from this side the enemies are pulling away and that's why I moved my legions here. Of course I will try my best to have 10k merits on every single archer but I think uh, having 10k merits on archers got like uh, two weeks stronger because of the lower range uh, which we are having against the mages, right? Now we will try to be uh, more cautious if you are getting targeted try to move away because that's the only time when you, are, you will be able to lose uh, your legions during the pvp and i think that's a good strategy uh, by staying alive longer not uh, only mm, uh, counting on your damage but counting on your gameplay uh, play style and counting on your uh, mechanics during the PvP, right? Because um, stronger players will always be there. What's most important is that having fun, even being as a tier 4, even being as a tier 5, or in general being a free to play player or pay to win, most important is always getting as much fun as possible out of the game, right? That's always the case whenever you are playing Kingdom Builder games or games where you can actually pay some funds to make you stronger. In that kind of games, my main idea by playing it is to get as much fun as possible. Uh, well, I guess Zaida and in this um, stayed alive longer. I got targeted way more times than my Nico and Kinara. But what I can say more about this hero pair is that I'm pretty sure I will be I will be doing way less damage uh, than any other hero pairs which I have because it's more of a defensive gameplay play style uh, if we're gonna compare it to the other hero pairs which I have and yeah <clears throat> one last marksman is left which is uh, Craig and Thea actually my best performing hero pair from the last season I, I have gotten uh, like 20-25k merits uh, with my Craig and Thea, but it was with Long Range Warfare, and it will be quite interesting how we are going to perform with this hero pair in Season of Stripe, because we don't have same amount of range anymore. Uh, yeah, that's the case, um, that's what's the most important and most interesting fact about this season, is that uh, no more same range means that you need to count on your uh, gameplay and your skills during the fight because you can't just stand still and attack uh, you kind of have to move around and you kind of be cautious uh, about major and mages ranges range because uh, they can catch you where you can't uh, do the same to them right i actually used my shadow blades here which was quite important um, you know, like whenever you have artifact which is dealing damage to multiple targets you're always trying to do maximum uh, with the multiple targets because that's generally main idea how you will be able to get some merits in this kind of fights now of course enemy is stronger they have like 11 billion power we are on nine uh, but as always activity matters knowing how to fight matters and that's really what we are trying to do here uh, these fights will continue it's just the beginning it's just the beginning of the pass one opening which means we are going to see a lot more content a lot more pv content because if you are a subscriber and you have seen my channel you understand that whenever there is a fight i'm always there and i'm always trying to showcase my skills and the fun of the gameplay of call of dragons even as a free-to-play player I'm quite interested how Craig and Thea will uh, act uh, in Season of Stripe without Long Range Warfare simply because um, uh, like last season it was one of the best performing hero pair for me and I, I want to know if, if it was only because of the Long Range Warfare or in general this hero pair is strong, right? Like, like later we are standing still and we are alive, we are having more and more chances of dealing damage to a big line because they are making some wrong moves by stepping uh, on our direction. Right now I have Shadow Blade, but it will be really really hard for me to do damage uh, with the Shadow Blades because of the uh, mages and 
the range of course but slowly we are moving forward and we are having enough time uh, to do damage against them right I hope uh, I will have more than 10k merits out of every single legion but I have some kind of questions with my Zyda and Indis it should be interesting if uh, Zyda and Indis got more than 10k merits out of this fight right uh, well we are moving forward we managed to defend we managed to take control over our builders and our tower which is most important slowly my Craig and Tia is getting lower and lower uh, thankfully uh, which is good that Tia is giving a lot of defensive stats and defensive uh, buffs to a legion where, whatever she is paired with and I think that what makes uh, this hero pair great because Tia is giving us a lot of stats, a lot of important stats especially for Craig and a lot of defensive attributes Finally, enemy is moving back. Right now, we have a chance to deal damage to the backline, and that's what I'm trying to do. And that's like most perfect timing whenever you have free ability and time to hit mages as a marksman, because it's pretty well known that highest amount of damage you are dealing as an archer player is ma is mages, right? Because they have the lowest amount of armor throughout any legion type in the game, but they have highest amount of range right that should be also included whenever we are speaking about mages uh yeah we will try to deal as much damage as possible in these uh, small uh, skirmishes but throughout the day there will be a lot of fighting there will be a lot of uh, great fights which is amazing because i have been waiting for this moment for a long long time uh great some free merits whenever enemies are running it's amazing that you can catch up and do some damage that what actually makes Archer speed bonus, like March speed bonus, great. Uh, simply because we have ability to catch up to mages whenever they are running, and at least something we got when we got removed the long range warfare. At least something positive we get back, uh, and that's the positive is about uh, March speed, right? Right. Now, finally, we are just destroying whatever is left here. Um, I will try my best to make my legion die. I even used my shadow blades, which is amazing. And right now, I will just try my best to make my legion die faster, so they will be going home in a quicker way. Um, because my town is pretty far, and it will be awkward for me to just move back with like 5k legions, which will take two weeks more time just by just working rather than just trying to make my legion die. And that's how I will be able to. Um, send them home which will be faster uh, finally what's most important and what's most interesting we will be checking the merits and how much merits we got uh, from the uh, archers without long range warfare unfortunately as i said um, zaida and indies are having lowest amount of merits out of anything but we still managed to get one um, yellow merits from the craig and thea that's what i actually said um, um, like one of the most underrated hero pairs which I'm currently having is um, Craig and Thea, highest amount of merits out of these religions. Of course, if I kind of played well, I could have more merits on my um, Nico and Kinara, simply because in terms of levels of the skills, uh, Nico and Kinara is the highest, Kinara is my only legendary hero, uh, which is Awakened. That's the state of the marksman so far in first couple of fights um i hope it will get better and better but i think mages are superior in terms of fighting uh, because of the range and the superiority of the range range actually makes a big difference right because whenever uh, rain mages are dealing damage from a far distance you kind of have to be tricky as an archer because it won't be that easy like it was in last season um, I hope you understood the gameplay in, uh, in Season of Stripe, how hard it, was, it, how hard it will be uh, for archers. And as always, if it was helpful for you guys to watch this video and you liked the video, uh, press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more and more motivation to make more amazing content for this game. I wish everybody an amazing day, morning and night. We are going to see each other really, really soon. Bye bye and good luck.